Hi, in this lesson we'll be seeing about ADOP basics. First we'll be seeing what is ADOP and what are the important concepts related to ADOP. Then we'll be seeing the dual file system. What is dual file system in release 12.2 and how does it help organizations to reduce the downtime. Then we'll be seeing what are different phases of ADOP. And finally, we'll see important tables and queries which are related to ADOP. So first of all, what is ADOP? ADOP, which is released in release 12.2, stands for AD Online Patching. And it replaces AD Patch tool in the previous versions. Till release 12.1, there is a tool called AD Patch. And this AD Patch was used not only in 12.1, but also in the previous releases of 11.9. But that now has been replaced by ADOP, which is called AD Online Patching. Remember that you will not use AD Patch Utility anymore in release 12.2. And vice versa, in the same way, ADOP cannot be used in the previous versions, that is 12.1, for example. Now, what does ADOP do? ADOP can apply the patches on the application tire except the Fusion middleware or IAS, which means the Fusion Millware components such as WebTire, WebLogic and Oracle Homes such as Oracle Common and IAS that is IAS 1013 Home, all these patches, all these homes and directories cannot be patched by using ADOP. ADOP only applies the application tire patches, that is the patches which are related to products and families. For example, the patches which can enhance the features of families such as financials, HR, etc. Similarly, products such as AD, TXK, etc. So remember, the ADOP can only patch the application tire eBusiness Suite, that is Apple Top in specific. And there are five important phases in ADOP: prepare, apply, finalize, cutover, and cleanup. We will see more about the phases in the next slides. So before we go to the ADOP phases, we need to understand in detail about dual file system. Dual file system has been introduced in release 12.2 to reduce the downtime. Basically the application type file system contains two directories called fs1 and fs2 in the base directory. So once you go to base directory, we can see fs1 and fs2 fsne and ebasapps.env. This is for the environment and this is called non-addition file system. And the main files which are related to products are located in fs1 and fs2. At any given time, one is designated as run and the other as patch. So which means the fs1, if fs1 is run file system, then fs2 is patch file system. Similarly, if fs1 is patch file system, then fs2 is run file system. At one point of time, one of them is run and one of them is patch. Run file system is used by or by the users, which means is used for running Oracle Business Suite and users access always run file system. When you start the services, always the end users access the run file system. Let's say for example, FS1 is my run file system and FS2 is my patch file system, which means all the users connect to the run file system. And the patch file system is used only for patching and ADOP utility is used to apply patches on the patch file system. So what does it mean exactly? Let's say for example, FS1 is my run and FS2 is my patch. So all the end users are now connected to FS1. The business operations are running right now on FS1 file system. So I have a major patch or I have set of patches to be applied. So what I'll do is using ADOP utility I will apply patches on the patch file system. Let's say the whole patching activity runs for 5 hours. During this time, there is no impact on the end users or the system. It will continue to run as usual because the run file system is FS1. And all the patches have already been applied now on FS2. And after 5 hours, what I'll do is I'll flip the file systems. Which means, now FS1 becomes patch and FS2 becomes run. So which means the end users will now connect to run file system which is FS2. 
Since we have applied all the latest patches, which means the new features or the bug fixes are now present in FS2. So the end users will now will be able to see all the latest features or bug fixes. And now the next time when you're running ADOP again to apply any patches, it will be applying on the patch that is FS1. In this way, the overall downtime of 5 hours is now brought down to only 10-15 minutes where you flip the file systems. In the previous slide, we have seen that there is a phase called cutover. And this phase is basically nothing but the phase where you flip the file systems. And usually the cutover phase is not more than 15-20 minutes. Which means, in the previous releases, when you are applying all these 5 hours of patches, the whole system was down. But now, in release 12.2, because of the dual file system, while the patching is going on, since it's in patch file system, there is no impact on the end users or the activities or the business operations. Only once the patching activity is complete, I am going to run ADOP cutover, which will flip the file system. That takes only 20 minutes. The overall downtime has been brought down to only 20 minutes. So this is the use of dual file system in Oracle Ebsen Suite release 12.2. So what are different phases in ADOP? The first important phase is called prepare. And remember that during the prepare phase, obviously there is no downtime involved. And what it does is it prepares the file system, that is a patch file system for patching. So the prepare phase, there is one very important use of the prepare phase. So what is it? The pre during the prepare phase, the ADOP synchronizes the file systems. So what does it mean? Let's say for example, my FS1 is run file system and FS2 is patch file system. And you know that we apply the patches on the patch file system. Let's say I applied 5 patches. And once the entire patch cycle is complete, my FS1 becomes patch and my FS2 becomes run file system. So which means all the users are now connecting to FS2 because that is the run file system. But if you understand carefully, all the 5 latest patches are available only in FS2 at this point of time, not in FS1. So the next time when you run ADOP phase equal to prepare, what happens is from the run file system that is FS2 to the FS1, all these patches are again synchronized. So which means during prepare phase, it will apply all the patches that are there in FS2 to FS1 and when it synchronizes these patches or basically all the files that are there in Apple top or other directories will be synchronized to FS1 from FS2 basically at any point of time from run to patch. So the next during the next patch cycle once the next patch cycle is complete which means your FS1 will become again run and your FS2 will again become patch. Since you have already synchronized all the patches from FS2 to FS1, at this point of time, your both the file system are at the same level. Let's say for example, during the next patch cycle, I did not run empty patch cycle. I have applied again one more patch, for example, on FS1 because that is a patch. Then what happens is, all the previous 5 patches are now in FS1, plus additionally, I have got one more patch. So during the next patch cycle, it will again synchronize this one patch to FS2. So in this way, the prepare, the prepare phase, what it will do is it will basically synchronize the file systems by copying the files. And then during apply phase, you apply the actual patches that are required. So you apply all the patches that are required during apply phase. And in finalize phase, it ensures that it is now going to, going to cut over. It will perform internally all the final steps that are required before doing the cutover. And remember one important thing that once you run the finalize and finalize phase is completed successfully, there is no going back. So you have to flip the file system. You can abort the patch cycle of ADOP only till prepare and apply. So once you run the finalize, you cannot actually abort the patch cycle anymore. The next phase is cutover. During the cutover, it flips the file system. That is, if FS1 is run, it becomes patch. And if FS2 is patch, it becomes run. And this is where you have the actual downtime. 
and during all the other phases there is no downtime clean up basically is a phase where it cleans up cleans up all the obsolete code and old versions of your database that is old editions in the database and fs clone is a phase which is run usually manually when you want to recreate the patch edition from the run edition in most cases remember that fs clone is not required and in some cases when you abort fs clone is required and abort as i told before can be run only till apply phase let's say for example i run the prepare phase i can abort it i run the apply phase i can still abort it but if i run the finalize phase i cannot abort it and when you run the abort remember that you have to run the cleanup in full mode we'll be discussing about this part later on so what are important tables which you need to know related to adop the first thing is ad applied patches ad bugs in the previous lesson i've already explained what is the difference between them and now in this example in this lesson we'll be seeing some examples of the queries as well and fnd prod groups fnd installation have already been explained and in this lesson we'll also see in detail about ado adop sessions as well so some important queries what we'll see now is bugs which are applied from ad underscore bugs and patches from ad applied patches and adop session information from ad adop underscore sessions so let us get to the database first let's say for example if i want to check whether a specific patch is applied or not then what i can do is i can simply run select start from ad applied patches where patch underscore name is 2115690 but remember one important thing as i told before that this gives only the patches which have been applied by adop if this specific patch has a fixed lot of bugs those bugs you have to find from ad underscore bugs always so ad underscore bugs and where bug underscore number is equal to this so first i'll run ad applied patches yes you can see that the patch has been applied it has been applied long back and ad underscore bugs also has the information about this specific bug that has been fixed what is application short name etc if you want to check about all the patches that have been applied you can also check from select star from ad applied patches you can simply order by using last updated so that you can see the latest patches applied first then the most important table is ad adop sessions This table will give you the information about all the ADOP sessions that have been started till now. And you can also see that the the timing exact timing of prepare start date, prepare end date, finalize start date, finalize end date etc. This information can be used to understand what is the average time that it takes to complete each phase in your environment. 